I'm high maintenance, and I put a lot of effort into how I present myself into the world. And so when I go on a date with a man and he does not stop to tell me that I look beautiful, it raises a question mark for me. It's not because I need validation. I own several mirrors and am very aware of what I look like, but it's because appreciation is a fundamental building block of any relationship that I want to be a part of. I invest in personal development and growth through therapy, coaching programs, and fitness. I invest in clothes that make me feel good. I invest in makeup that enhances how I appear. And the way that I show up in the world, the way that I show up on dates is the summation of all of those investments that I have made into myself. So someone not acknowledging that shows at best a lack of awareness and at worst an unwillingness to appreciate the efforts of those closest to him. And that makes me feel like we're not compatible. No, we are not at all. Since you don't do those things for me, you shouldn't expect me to value them. So, what if you're... I want to make sure I understand this correctly. If I don't tell the people I care about how beautiful they are, I won't value them. There is a question mark next to it if I tell you how beautiful you are. Okay then, we are definitely not a good match. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Why men are avoiding Western women. Allow us to begin right away. This is part two of me telling the third guy that I wanted to be intimate with that. I've got herpes! So I told him, and he was like, okay, well, we can't have sex. And I was like, okay. But then I was like, wait, wait, wait. It's really common. I, I know it seems a little crazy. And he, I just started spitting all these, like, statistics at this poor guy. Um, but then he was like, no, well, I have Crohn's disease, and I just don't really know. Like, I, I'm on immune system suppressants and yada, yada, yada. I just don't think it'd be a good idea. But also, both of my parents have herpes, so I know how common it is. Like, don't worry. And that was something I wasn't expecting to hear, but it made me feel a lot better. Um, but then we kind of, like, still, like, made out and, like, cuddled and touched and stuff. And he still made me feel very, very sexy afterwards. And we don't talk anymore, but it was still an overall pretty decent experience. Who is shocked that this girl who looks like a woman has herpes? She's at least being honest about it. But how many turns down does it take for her to forget to tell a guy she likes him, which should be illegal? It should be at least a crime and lead to some jail time to intentionally spread STDs like herpes, which can't be cured. People have that crap for a long time. In order to make this doorknob feel better, a simp has to put his own health at risk. Get out of there if she has herpes. Being sick for the rest of your life is not worth one night. Someone in the first reply said, I think there should be a dating site for people who have things like this. Would it be better to go out with someone who has it? It's a good idea if it keeps those people from dating. The person who came in second said, I also have herpes. After breaking up with you, a guy's way of showing that they're single is changing their Bitmoji outfit on Snapchat because that is their only form of communication with women from now on. It's like, oh, I can Snapchat random girls now, but first let me change my black Bitmoji shirt to a gray shirt to let her know that this is my single debut. Weird behavior. Why? How do you know for sure that's what he's doing? Don't follow him around. You and your ex broke up, so get over it and move on. I did want to find out what this Snapchat thing was all about at one point. I just wasn't interested. The thing I'm doing makes me feel bad about my voice after hearing her. And here's the deal, princess. From now on, he will only talk to women, or maybe not. Not all people depend on Snapchat. Yes, some of us do talk to people in person. I get your point, though. He can't pull girls, so that's the only way he can talk to them. No matter how you look at it, the fact that he pulled you doesn't make you look good. So I called my mom and she didn't pick up, but she texted me this. Hey baby girl, saw that you called today. My phone has been off since I'm at a women's conference for a few days, so any emergencies, call your dad. Just to give you a little bit of background, my mom is Puerto Rican and this is so unusual because she calls me 10 times a day and she never like ignores my phone call texts me after i call her like yeah right that's not mm -mm, doesn't happen so i say what do you mean women's conference what's that who kidnapped you understandably like what's what's going on so she says lol church related last minute from a friend teacher who had an extra ticket because someone bailed going back in now and i'm like 
okay, church thing. So I just say, okay, see you. All right, so the night goes by and I'm just like, mm, I don't really know. That's still kind of weird. She didn't call me back. Like, okay. So I text her again. I say, okay, enough is, is enough. There is no conference for God that you wake up in church and fall asleep in church with no lunch break. You have eight hours to call me. I ain't playing with you. Because I'm not. Also, at this point, I'm like super concerned because my parents like never separate for more than 24 hours. And I knew my dad was at home and like my mom is not there. And I'm like, "Mm, what is going on? So before she called me back, like I called my dad and I was like, hey, dad, like what's going on? What are you doing? Being all like nonchalant and everything. And I was like, where's mom? Did I mention that they do not separate for more than an hour at most. Anyway, he's like, I don't know, but like, I hope, you know, she just comes back to me. I messed up, I messed up. And I'm like, oh shit, my dad cheated on my mom. Fuck. Nothing like that happened. He like made her upset by like not kissing her goodbye. And so she's decided to go on some church retreat and ignore him. And I thought games like would end after 30, maybe. <laughs> Yo, those fools are 60. I don't think I should get married. A lot of women today do this when they want to or plan to cheat. Anyone who disagrees with them or does something wrong will make them angry so they can let off steam while criticizing someone else. It made her angry that he didn't kiss her goodbye and the mother is supposed to be Christian. Does that match what Jesus says? In order for the husband to forget to kiss the wife, tell him to ghost her. If your girlfriend or wife leaves you for more than three hours without giving a good reason, you should think the worst and find someone else. The first few times she may be gone, maybe just to get you used to it. After that, she'll quickly cheat on him with someone else. What do different people say? The girl my son likes is from Puerto Rico. During the summer, we went camping. That morning, she forgot to call her mom, but her mom showed up where we were. In many traditional societies, girls are raised this way, which is good. I was just catcalled in a way that made my spidey senses go off. I just went to a concert alone and had an amazing time. I wish more people went to things by themselves. And I was walking home, just a five minute walk on like a busy crowded street. The car pulled into a parking lot right in front of me. And this is again, like a very populous street, like people are around, but I still was so unbelievably comfortable. I started running. I started running when I turned the corner to go up to my apartment. I was looking back behind me the whole time and you know, didn't see them and I'm here now safe home you think oh i'm around other people i'm good i'm safe they wouldn't do anything because there are other bystanders here i didn't feel that in that moment i felt like i could have just been grabbed up and snatched into a car and that would be the end of it and that happens i want every woman to feel empowered to enjoy her time with herself yes there are like safe ways to do that but it's just so up that we have to find safe ways and we can't just exist instead of me thinking about the music and the concert i just saw i'm thinking about how i'm happy to be safe in my apartment she was called names i'm sure she told me how but i must not have paid attention because i missed it also picture that a car pulled over in a parking spot on a busy street who does that really not only the driver should lose their license but everyone should if there were people on board their seats should also be taken away. They should be sent to get one and then be taken away if they don't have one. People no longer listen to these stories because of this. Even if you're with her, this is how she starts a story that will make you lose focus. It arrived yesterday. Your electric bill is through the roof and every once in a while you don't listen and just throw in. It's bad to be you. Then she will get mad at you for not listening. Yes, I stopped hearing you when you said catcall then don't say how. What really changed my income was definitely only What kind of bag are we talking about here? Millions. Wow. Damn it. Damn it. When did you reach your first million? First five months. 
I had a dinner with my parents. I showed them what I was posting, but this is the income. My stepdad was like, <laughs> keep doing this. Shit. You can retire in three years if you do this. Like, yeah. it was like, he was like, I've never seen this income in my life. That is a lot of money. To make millions, all a girl has to do is get out of bed and take off her clothes. But for a guy to make millions, he has to do something hard, like start a business that will make millions in at least 10 years or learn a very specific skill. But even so, only athletes and CEOs make a million dollars a year. No engineers or programmers do. This is all you need to know about modern women. The parents want their daughter to be a career scumbag. She's willing to sell her soul for a quick buck. But if she ever runs out of money or decides she wants a family, no man she respects would want to start a family with her. Click the like button to let people know you enjoyed the show. You'll know when I add new shots if you click the bell. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Come back to this page to see more videos of people hitting walls.